Hey, it's Uncle Bob, and this is my new Tahatsu Six Horsepower Sail Pro Outboard. Um, I wanted to make this video because I've been looking at this motor and researching online, and there were some things I couldn't I couldn't find information on, and uh, even the manual is missing a lot of information. And so I thought I'd make a little video to share with everybody in case you had the same questions I had. And one of the first questions I had was the charging system and how does it connect? Uh, does it connect here, here? No, it doesn't. Uh, there's not much information on this at all and I could find absolutely nothing online. It actually connects down here. And there's a couple of bullet connectors and it comes with this connector wire and it has ring terminals on one end, bullets on the other. It measured out to about five and a half feet, which is not very long if you have a sailboat. Most batteries are not in the back of the boat like they would be on a normal outboard. Uh, so in my particular case, I have a Rhodes 22 and I have an electric uh, winch that operates my motor lift. So I have actual connections close by. It'll be fine for me. But if you don't, you'll probably have to extend it. I would highly recommend some good silicone grease and these connections because they're going to be exposed. It's, it's not the best connector in the world. I'll just tell you that right now. So also, and literally the manual says nothing about this. All it says is there, well, actually the manual didn't even say there's a charging system. Uh, that's online information. And it also doesn't tell you that, that under the cow is a voltage regulator. And this is a fuse block connector. And there's two fuses, one's a spare, the 10 amp fuses. But there's absolutely nothing at all in a manual on this. I, they really dropped the ball on that. The cell, cell Pro should probably have its own manual. Uh, in my opinion, but in any event, um, this is an hour meter, did not come with it. This was added. I bought this from Kevin's uh, Boat Repair. They are a Tohatsu dealer in South Houston. They put these on all of their outboards, the small outboards, because all of your maintenance on this, on this motor is d designed around hours, just like every other outboard. It's not you know, miles or knots, whatever, whatever, nautical miles, but it's all based on hours. And most of us have no clue how many hours we've been running our engine. Um, so it, they throw this on there. I think it's a great idea. And I know you're probably thinking, yeah, so that you, they can do the service. No, uh, not at all. If you know nothing about an outboard, they will service it for you. Um, Kevin was wonderful, really nice, him and his wife. He said, hey, you've had outboards, you know how to service them. He said, now you, now you know when to do it, you know? So good luck, you know, hope you have a great time. Nice guy. Um, the, some of the pictures I saw looked like it had a four bladed prop, perhaps maybe, maybe even plastic, but it does not. It came with an aluminum three blade prop, uh, appears to be about a six by eight and a half. Uh, so it's a high thrust. Um, and, um, uh, probably because obviously sailboats don't need to go fast and, and you'll need that higher RPM, uh, to generate, um, uh, the current to charge your batteries. Uh, she was test run when I picked her up. Um, a lot of people were concerned about vibration, um, that perhaps the, the single would vibrate real bad. I'm currently running a, a two cylinder, eight horse Honda. It's a very old motor. I, I got it for free um, when I bought my sailboat and all I needed was carburetor repair. They said it didn't work. And she's run really good. She's been a good motor. She's very smooth, starts first pull every time. Um, but the motor had been used in, in predominantly salt water and apparently not flushed well. And it actually popped a hole in the water jacket on, right near the, the cylinder heads. So I started leaking under the cowling. So I figured it's time for a motor. And um, I like the fact that this will charge the batteries when I'm running. I've got solar panels on the boat. Um, but it, it just seems sometimes you need to top them off. So this should work great. I really uh, like the way it runs. It doesn't vibrate bad. It's, it, it, it's a good motor. Um, I can't wait to put it on the boat and get it out there and, and crank it up. Uh, the only other thing I'd tell you is I couldn't stand. It was sitting in a cardboard box on its side on the floor. 
because the weather's been too bad for me to go put it on the boat. And I was like, I need a, I need a stand so I can play with this thing. And what did I find? I had a two by six in the garage and I had a furniture dolly. And believe it or not, this works very well. Very, very well. Uh, the only thing I would do different is I would probably space this back just a little bit to kind of get the weight centered better over the dolly. But as it is right now, you can grab the handle and, and let her rip and it doesn't try to tip over. Um, it works out really good. And my wife said, that's my furniture dolly. I said, no problem at all. There's six screws holding it on down there. As soon as I put the motor on the boat, I'll take the six screws out and I'll hang on to that piece for later. Um, but anyway, uh, the only other thing is, is that really an outboard in my kitchen? And yes, it is. That's an outboard motor in, in my kitchen. And if you don't have a wife that lets you keep your outboard in the kitchen, you need to get a new one. That's all I can say. She's been wonderful. Anyhow, this is Uncle Bob. That's my motor. If you have any questions, let me know.